Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing pretzels today. I'm going to do them two ways, one with cinnamon sugar and one just salted. I'm also going to show you how to do the icing. Okay, let's get started. I have one and a half cups warm water. We're going to add our yeast, which is one pack or two and a fourth teaspoons. We're going to add our sugar. It's one tablespoon of sugar. We're going to mix it all together. And we already have bubbles. That's what you want. The bubbles. That's what we want. It's bubbles. Okay, and we're going to set this aside in a warm place for four minutes. Okay, while we wait on our yeast to get ready, I'm going to show you what I got from Amazon. I've got these two little bread bowls. They're for rising your bread. It comes with a little pouch to put them all in. It also comes with a dough hook and this little gadget, which I haven't figured out what it is yet. I'm sure everyone else knows what it is other than me, but I'll figure it out. But it comes with all these things. I also got brand new measuring cups. They're so cute. They look like this. They're so cute. They come in every different color. They're magnetic. So they kind of stay together. They don't have so much magnet that it's hard to get them apart. Like they just kind of stay together. They're kind of weighted. They're so cute. You can get all these on Amazon. They'll be in the link below. So you can order all of that if you would like. Um, I also have these bowls that I ordered and they're also from Amazon too. They will also be in the link below. Super cute, comes with a little bamboo lid. Okay, it's been four minutes, so we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add two tablespoons of melted butter, but cool it slightly. Got a little bit of that on my face and in my eyeball. And then we're gonna start adding our flour. And she gets that mixed up real good. One at a time, add your flour. start kneading it just to get it mixed up just a little bit better. Make sure your countertop's clean. you get this good and mixed up, it's a round doughy ball that's soft, then we're going to need it some more. I'm probably going to need this for like four minutes until it's nice and soft around. I've never made homemade pretzels until today, and literally none of them will be home today. I don't know how I happened that I'm making pretzels. I know why I'm making pretzels today. Let me just tell you, James made is a cooking show, and I'm obsessed with cooking shows, and I'm obsessed with James May. If you don't know who James May is, Google it. He does the Grand Tour with Jeremy Clarkson, which I'm also a really big fan of. So that's what I am making pretzels today because we just watched his new series on Amazon Prime called Oat Cook. So that's why James May, if you ever get to see this, 
This is why I'm making pretzels today. Anyway, this is almost done. Okay, our dough is ready to rise, so we're gonna spray our bowl with cooking spray. I'm just gonna pop it down in here, and we're gonna cover it up, and we're gonna put it in a warm place for 40 minutes and let it rise. It should double in size. Okay, it's been 40 minutes, so we're gonna take out our pretzel dough, and we're gonna divide it in eight pieces. Pretty much the same for me, evidently. Okay. Now flick it, lay it down, twist it again, and then pull it back to mix the pretzel shape. Line you some cooking sheets with parchment paper. Pretzel down on there. I think I'm gonna make some of these as a, those little pretzel nuggets and not all of them be pretzel looking. I'm just gonna roll them up into little pretzel bites. See if I can do it better laying down. So we got 10 cups water, 2 thirds cup baking soda, and we're gonna boil that. We're gonna stick our pieces of pretzel dough down in there for 30 seconds each. Then we're gonna put them on our parchment paper. We're gonna stick them in the oven for 12 minutes each at 450. Give that another little stir. Start dropping them in there. I'm gonna pop both these in the oven for 12 minutes at 450. And they won't fit, so one at a time. My 
I haven't been in there quite 12 minutes, but mine look really dull and really brown on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and take mine out and see how that works. I've already buttered the top of these, so these are going in. I'm gonna put some more butter on the ones that I'm gonna put sea salt on, but I'm also gonna do some with cinnamon sugar. I'm also gonna teach you how to make the icing that goes with the cinnamon sugar ones. I know it's a lot, I like a lot. Now I'm gonna teach you how to make the icing that goes with the cinnamon sugar pretzels. It's very easy. Get a bowl. Water in a cup, powdered sugar. Just put you however much you think that you're gonna want. If I put like maybe like half of this little bowl. Then I get a tablespoon. I add some water. And you just mix it up. Until you have a nice creamy thick ice. Keep adding more powdered sugar until you get the consistency you like. A little whisk. And then you just pull it up like that. See how thick it is? Just do a little bit more. That seems about right. Right there. And that's it. That's all you do to make ice cream. Mmm. Delicious. So for these, I'm just going to add some of the sugar to them. A little bit more butter. Cinnamon sugar on the way. So your cinnamon sugar will stick to it. And you know what? Let's do this. Okay, toss them in a bowl. Toss them in a big bowl. Pour it to it. I would say. Just kind of toss them around until they're all coated. Put some sugar on these. I think these turned out pretty great for my first try. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.